Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Jonathan, back to do another video. Today I'm going to talk about, uh, with the Super Bowl this weekend, I'm going to talk about the Super Bowl mostly this week in most of my videos. And today I want to talk about the Denver Broncos. There are people saying that the Denver Broncos are going to get blown out by the, by the Carolina Panthers. And I, I do realize that the Carolina, Carolina Panthers have a juggernaut, a juggernaut offense. I understand that they're, they're led by... An explosive quarterback, Cam Newton. <clears throat> I understand that they have Jonathan Stewart, who's an electrifying running back. I understand all those things. I understand that that Tolbert's pretty good. You know, um, Cam Newton's go-to guy is no one other than Greg Olson. But you also have to look at it from a defensive standpoint. And defense wins championships. I always say that defense wins championships. We've seen it in the past Super Bowls. We've seen it with the 1985 Bears. We've seen it with the Ravens before. We've seen it with the Steelers. We've seen it with a number of teams that have had stout defenses and they were led mainly by their defense and had just a little enough offense to win. But this time, I think Denver won't get blown out. People are looking at the fact that they got blown out by the Seattle Seahawks two years ago. And that was a shocker to many people. It was a surprise. I don't think that's going to happen this year. Denver's defense is, 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 is a much different defense than it was two years ago. It's not the same. This is a savage, brutal, great defense. And... It's led by the veteran, Demarcus Ware. I mean, Denver has an incredible pass rush. They can get to the quarterback, and if they and if they can get to Cam Newton, they could pretty much frustrate him. They could disrupt his ability to throw the football. You know, to find an open receiver, it will force him to to elude the pressure by running more. He will have to, you know, escape the pocket try to avoid the pass rush. And Denver could re really bring the pass rush with Vaughn Miller and DeMarcus Ware. It's going to be a great game. Um, the defense, the, the Denver Broncos also have a great secondary led by Chris Harris. Then don't forget, there's also Tlaib on the other side who's probably an underrated cornerback. Their defensive backs are, are very good. They're deep back there. They're loaded. They, they have a lot of talent. I think Denver keeps the game close. And I think Denver does have a chance to win. But I do have the Panthers beating the Broncos by a touchdown. And that's because the Broncos defense. But the defense is so good for the Denver Broncos that all they need is a game-altering play to just change the whole complexion of the game. So we'll see. It'll be interesting. But again, I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I think Denver's defense is too good for that. I think they're better than a lot of people have them. And I think people need to realize how good that defense is. i see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Check me out in upcoming videos. Take care. I'm out.